A new era of commerce with WordPress. This is very interesting. Fluent Cart. It is a new product coming uh, from the Fluent community, from the Fluent family, sorry. And uh, it looks very promising. I wanted to do a quick video about it. If you're planning to sell online using WordPress, uh, yes, this is going to be uh, a solution that I encourage you to explore because um, I'm doing it right now. And uh, I want to know what do you think about it in the comment section below, because uh, I think it can be really, really disruptive into the e-commerce ecosystem for WordPress. So if you have a WordPress website, you want to build an online store. A few years ago, you just had a few possibilities. WooCommerce was the main one. And then you had easy digital downloads and then a few others, but nothing very important compared to the numbers that we have here and to the features that we have here. Because now we have multiple choices. When we want to create an e-commerce using WordPress, we can choose WooCommerce, of course, the legacy solution, as they call it in Fluent Cart, or you can choose now Shortcart or the new one, Fluent Cart. And since Fluent Cart is, um, they had the time to monitor what was going on with Shortcart, they kind of uh, are playing very, very hard because um, here, if you see the comparison, this is very, very wow. It is mind blowing, I think, because if you're fl if you're planning to create an e-commerce and you see this comparison here, by the way, I'm using Shortcart since two years now and I love Shortcart. But looking at this page here, I really think that I'm going to play around with Fluent Cart a little bit, test it. Yeah, very much. And then uh, I will uh, just uh, have a, um, a difficult deci decision to make here. Because we have, as you can see here, a lot of useful and huge features that in WooCommerce are really difficult to achieve. But in this case, if you use a shortcut or fluent cart, as they promised to do, this feature is gonna be very powerful and built in out of the box when you install the plugin. So it's gonna be very easy for you to sell digital products or physical products using Fluent Cart in this case, in an easier way if you compare it to WooCommerce. Let's go on, let's see. Hosting type, self-hosted plugin. This means that um, you kind of own all the data and all the data will be processed right inside your own website on your database and this is awesome. I really like Shortcart, but in this case, Shortcart, it is different because they have a cloud hosted SAAS. <laughs> this means that basically all the orders and data are processed on their servers. And so basically nothing is going to really happen on your side. This thing has some advantages, but also many disadvantages. And this, in this case, Fluent Cart is going to adopt a more WordPress kind of uh, how do you say integration, which is self-hosted plugin, the one that we are also uh, using when we choose WooCommerce, of course. Then we have paid add-ons. Here it says none. This is very interesting. So they have, uh, they're going to have a new approach, basically where they, they're going to have all the features right inside the main plugin, the Fluent Cart plugin. This is very interesting. And here you have, of course. Uh, some paid add-ons that are separately uh, sold or maybe there are some fees applied, applied there when you use Shortcard. And uh, yeah, so in this case, Shortcard, it is a little bit tricky to understand well the, um, the pricing model because beside the subscription that you have or the lifetime deal that you can have when you buy the plugin and you want to create your online store, if you start using some advanced features like uh, abandoned cart product uh, checkout recovery or um, any other stuff, advanced uh, subscription features and so on, you start paying some fees. So this is quite, quite tricky. And here you said, Fluent Cart has none paid add-ons. This is interesting. Then we have data ownership on our servers. Great. And in the case of Shortcut, of course, is on their servers. This is not a, a big uh, of a deal, but um, it's good to know. And uh, lock-in risk. This is interesting because, yeah, mm, this is, I'm not, I, I do not agree about this because I think that they, they do not have the interest of uh, suspending your account. But anyway, it is true because everything is happening on your server, on your side. So you have the full control about what's happening on your e-commerce website. Platform fees. Okay, you have zero. Okay, also here, this is great. But then if you want some advanced features, as I was mentioning before, if you choose to use Shortcut, you see that here you have many fees. You have some fees for the affiliate management, you have some fees for the subscriptions, and you have some fees for the licensing feature, which is, by the way, a feature that I'm started, I've am i just started to use it with Shortcut, and it works very, really well. I, I love it to sell plugins and uh, digital products in general. 
Then, uh, uh, yeah, here they say zero, but I'm curious to know how they, they're going to manage this because, um, uh, of course, Shortcut was not like this at the beginning and they introduced these fees later on during the process that they, uh, yeah, of developing their platform. So I don't know if uh, this is going to stay like this, but this is very interesting anyway. And the fact that they have the self-hosted approach, it means that they can, I, I imagine that they can scale and handle their product in the easiest way comparing to Shortcut, because of course Shortcut has a really huge and ambitious infrastructure because they have, uh, they're basically hosting all your data on their servers, so they need really uh, a really huge infrastructure, of course. Then GDPL, GPL licensed, the same license that uh, it is the basic license of WordPress, of course. And this is really, really interesting that uh, this plugin here is coming with this kind of license instead of the uh, different license that it is being applied on Shortcut. Then we have the one-time setup fees. Okay, also this is also available with Shortcut. Hybrid product types, I don't know what they refer about this. We're going to learn it uh, when they will publish the first beta version, but uh, apparently Shortcut hasn't this feature here. And the uh, subscription upgrade bumps. So this is, sounds very interesting. I don't know how they are going to translate this uh, into practice when you are selling subscriptions, but I'm really curious to know about this feature. And uh, let's, let's read here. Shortcut might integrate with WordPress, but um, it's not built for the WordPress way. Okay, Fluent Cart gives you real freedom. No backdoors, no external API dependencies, no oops, you're locked out. I think that this is very interesting. Anyway, this is also a pricing comparison. Yeah, this is quite interesting to see. And um, yeah, of course, Short Cart, if you, if you begin to scale, it, it can quickly become a, a quite um, expensive, of course. And here you have all the comparison. I really, really, I'm really looking forward to see uh, about this product. Let me know in the comment section below what do you think about Fluent Cart. It is a uh, really, it sounds very interesting, and uh, I think that um, it is the perfect timing now to do the best of the best because uh, we had the experience of WooCommerce of the easy digital downloads, the legacy and um, really old dinosaur plugins. Then we had Shortcut, the new young boy, really, really nice plugin, but. Yeah, I think that they made. I I don't want to say that they made some mistakes because it is a huge uh, um, it is a huge task to build a plugin like Shortcut. But I think that Fluent Cart now they had the time to watch how things were were going with with both WooCommerce and Shortcut and uh, how the people were complaining the weak points of both approach WooCommerce and Shortcut and they're trying to do the best of the best. So it sounds very interesting. Let me know in the comment section below what do you think about this. By the way, if you do not know me, my name is Pascal and I'm the creator of WP Roads, the YouTube channel and the website where I share with you my passion and knowledge about WordPress. So if you like this kind of content, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe because you're gonna help me a lot and you're also going to receive a notification when I publish new videos. So now I will leave you with two of my latest tutorials and videos. I hope that you will enjoy them and I hope to see you in my next videos. Ciao, ciao!